Hey friends, it's Justin Jericho and the best raw food that you can give is homemade because you control the ingredients and how it's made. So I would get everything, well, I do get everything from here today. This video is not sponsored, but there are affiliate links in the description below. There are 19 different proteins to choose from. You can get pre-made grinds that follow the 80-10-10 ratio. You can also get whole cuts of meat, raw meaty bones, organs, and even whole prey. And if you're going for the 80-10-10 ratio, of course, you would add supplements. You can get that from here today as well. You can get Alnutrin nutritional supplements and on their website, knowwhatyoufeed.com, they tell you everything is human grade and they also tell you where the ingredients come from, the country of origin, as well as why they add it to their raw food premix. Additionally, you can get taurine powder and fish oil all from here today. So that's the best because it's very easy. You don't need to use a recipe. You can just get the 80 10 10 grinds, the raw food premix, and the fish oil all from this website. And this is in the U.S. only, so if you're outside the U.S., I have a completely separate video about homemade cat food with recipes. I'll put that in the top right corner and in the description below. The worst raw cat food that you can give is something that's completely unbalanced. So I get some comments that say, oh, I just give my cat chicken, peas, and carrots, or I'll just feed my cat a can of tuna. This is not complete and balanced. This doesn't offer all of the nutrients that your cat needs. For example, if you're only giving muscle meat and a couple of veggies, the diet is going to be severely lacking in calcium. You need bones or eggshell powder. Those are natural sources of calcium. It also has to be in the right ratio. If you give too much muscle meat, then the phosphorus is going to be too high. If you give too much bone, the calcium is going to be too high. This is going to affect how your cat's body absorbs all of the other nutrients. So if you're going to do homemade cat food, please do it right. Again, I have a complete guide to homemade cat food that's in the description below. Now, the best wet cat food that I would suggest to you if you want to feed wet food would be Feline Natural. And this is actually one of their new products. They have pouches. So if you're concerned about shipping costs being too high because of cans, they now have pouches for their wet food. There's no thickening agents, and then you don't have to worry about BPA and stuff like that. So these are pouches, and the reason that I'm saying that it's the best is because the product name rule here is Lamb and King Salmon Feast. That word feast means between 25 to 94.9% lamb and king salmon combined. There's no non-meat ingredients, for example, instead of saying lamb and rice, lamb and potato, lamb and king salmon. You want to see meat only in the product name. When we go down to the ingredients, we see lamb heart, water sufficient for processing, salmon, lamb lung, lamb liver, lamb kidney, New Zealand green mussel. So those are all really, really specifically named ingredients. Rather than just saying meat byproducts, they tell you the exact animal and they tell you the exact byproduct. Because all of these things are technically byproducts, heart, lung, liver, kidney. But instead of using the general blanket term, they tell you exactly what's in the product. Same thing with New Zealand green mussel. Instead of just saying fish meal, they tell you New Zealand green mussel. And then, of course, you'll see the synthetic vitamins and minerals. But compared to most cat foods, you know, this doesn't have a list of like 63 different supplements. The main nutrition comes from the meat ingredients that are specifically named. Then when you use the guaranteed analysis numbers, you'll get approximately 1% carbs on a dry matter basis. This is perfect. When you look at the ingredients again, you'll see that they're very, very minimal carbohydrate sources, maybe the kelp and the flax seed. But when you use the guaranteed analysis numbers, you'll find that those ingredients are very minimal compared to the meat ingredients. And Feline Natural actually provides their dry matter basis for their products. So for carbohydrates, it's less than 1% on a dry matter basis, which is completely ideal because the cat's natural diet is around 2% carbs. That comes from the stomach contents of prey. Feline Natural is also available outside the U.S., so you can go on their website and use their store locator to find a shop near you. Now, the worst wet cat food is here on the screen, and the product name is called With Real Turkey. That word with means that the minimum requirement of turkey is only 3%. And it's less than 25% because if it was at least 25%, the product name would be turkey dinner, turkey entree, 
turkey platter, or what we just looked at in filet natural, it would say turkey feast. But since it doesn't have one of those descriptive words and instead says with turkey, that minimum requirement drops down from 25 to 3%. When we look at the ingredients, we see water sufficient for processing, meat byproducts. So right there is a general blanket term, meat. Well, what kind of meat? Could be any kind of meat. Byproducts, what kind of byproducts? It could be any type of byproducts. So I hope you see the difference between this product and the one that we just looked at. The one that we just looked at, it told us exactly lamb lung, lamb heart, lamb liver, lamb kidney. This one just says meat byproducts. Then it says turkey, chicken. So the manufacturer knew that there was some turkey and chicken in the product because they named it turkey and chicken. Those are in the ingredients. But for the meat byproducts, they didn't know what kind of meat. They didn't know what kind of byproducts. So they couldn't tell us. So they just say meat byproducts. That's what's concerning. You have no idea. You would think that cat food manufacturers would be proud to list exactly what's in their products. You know, instead of using the general blanket term of just kind of like, well, we don't know exactly what's in it, so we'll just throw it all together and just call it meat byproducts. See, those are things you have to kind of question because if they can't tell you what's exactly in their product, it's like, how can you feel comfortable feeding it to your cat? Then we go down the list, soy protein concentrate. Soy is not appropriate for cats. Modified food starch, wheat flour, fish. So again, we have another mystery here. Is it sardine? Is it anchovy? Is it pollock? Is it whitefish? Like there are just so many different fish. Some fish contain high thiaminase, which destroys B vitamins, and some fish don't contain thiaminase. So it's important to know what kind of fish that you're feeding because you don't want your cat to be deficient in B vitamins. Additionally, fish that are higher up on the food chain have a higher risk of containing mercury and other toxins. So it, it's, it's, it's a big mystery. It's like, well, how, how do you not know what kind of fish you're using in your product? Then we have soy flour. Again, soy, not appropriate for cats. Natural flavor, salt. And then most of these things, everything after salt is typically less than 1%. So the bulk of the ingredients come from this the first couple ingredients. But again, meat byproducts is, is very, uh, very vague. <laughs> So it's, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's too much of a mystery. Then if we use the guaranteed analysis numbers to come up with the approximate carb amount on a dry matter basis, it's about 19%. So that's likely coming from the soy and the food starch and the wheat flour and the soy again. So it's, you know, a 19% is still much lower than the average for kibble but it's, it's definitely not an ideal amount. Now, don't get me wrong. If your only option is between dry food and wet food, any wet food that you can afford that says complete and balanced, even if it's this worst one that we just looked at, this is still better than the best, most expensive premium dry food because cats rely on food for moisture. So feeding a high moisture diet will always be better than feeding a dry food that's only 10% moisture. However, if you want to feed your cat better and maybe your cat just really won't take to wet food, it might be worth it to upgrade the dry food that you're feeding now to a better quality dry. And then that will help get your cat used to eating better quality ingredients. And that'll make the transition to wet much easier. So the best dry, which is an oxymoron, <laughs> but this is the terms that people use. The best dry, I would suggest if your cat's addicted to kibble, you wanna get them off kibble and onto better quality food, going to wet or raw. Use Zooey Peak air dried food. This is the best that I can find. So the label rule here is chicken recipe. That word recipe means the chicken is somewhere between 25 and 94.9% .9 chicken. So you're gonna have the most chicken in this product compared to a product that says with chicken or chicken flavor. And if we go down to the ingredients, we have chicken, chicken liver, chicken heart, New Zealand green muscle, chicken bone. So those are very, very specific ingredients. Instead of just using the general term poultry byproducts, that's a vague mystery. Poultry could mean chicken, turkey. Byproducts could mean liver, spleen, bones. We don't know. But with this food, it tells you we're using chicken, and we're using the chicken's liver, the chicken's heart, the chicken's bone. And the same thing with fish, New Zealand green mussel. That's very specific. And then the rest of the ingredients are mainly vitamins, minerals, and preservatives. And of course, this ingredients list isn't 100% ideal, 
But this compared to most dry food brands on the market, I analyzed over 80 different brands of dry food. This is the best that I could find. Yes, it's not 100% ideal, but in terms of when we're looking at dry food only, this is going to be the best. And then you can use the guaranteed analysis numbers to calculate the approximate carb amount, or you can click download full typical analysis and they'll tell you carbohydrates 1% on a dry matter basis. So again, this is the lowest, absolute lowest that I've ever seen with dry food. The average for dry food among those 80 brands I analyzed, the average carb amount was 33% and the highest was 49% on a dry matter basis. So this dry food is only 1%. I also want to mention that Zeewee Peak is air dried. So it isn't cooked and pressurized like most dry food. So this air dried food is more likely to contain more of those nutrients. So that's why you'll, you'll notice that, again, the list of synthetic supplements isn't that long compared to other commercial cat foods. And Zeewee Peak is also available outside the US. So again, if the links below don't work for you, go to their website and go to the store locator. They have online retailers as well as in-store uh, products. And the worst dry food that we'll look at is here on the screen. The product name is flavors of chicken and tuna. So that word flavor means the minimum requirement of chicken and tuna combined is 0% and it's guaranteed less than 3% because if it was at least 3%, it would say with chicken and tuna instead of flavors of chicken and tuna. Then when we look at the ingredients, the first ingredient is whole ground corn. Obviously that's not appropriate for cats. Next we have chicken byproduct meal. And this word meal means that it's rendered, which is a, a process in which they subject the ingredients to very, very high heat and very high pressure. They do this to kill any pathogenic bacteria. However, meat meals can contain 4D meats, which is dead, disease, dying, and disabled. Hafco states that this is allowed as long as those ingredients are rendered. And there's a CRS report for Congress on the animal rendering industry that's linked below. Please look into the resources so you know <laughs> for yourself. Don't just rely on someone telling you. Please look into the resources, read Afco's website, read the resources in the description. So we'll move on. Corn gluten meal. So now we have two corn ingredients. Then we have soybean meal. Again, soy is not appropriate for cats. Animal fat. So here we have an issue because we have no idea what kind of animal is being used. And I'm going to reference that CRS report for Congress again. So the animal rendering industry states that the majority of the dead animals come from farms, but they can also come from dead animals from animal shelters. They also use restaurant grease and grocery store waste. Typically, when you see something like this, animal fat or tallow, these are flavor enhancers and palatants that they use to make the food more enticing to eat. There's a company called AFB International that makes these flavor enhancers and palatants. So again, please read into the resources, but it's just beyond the scope of this video. Next, we have whole wheat, animal digest. Animal digest, that's another flavor enhancer palatant that they use. And we go on to the list, tuna meal. So again, meal, this could be a rendered ingredient, which may include 4D meats. And it's preserved with ethoxyquin. Now, ethoxyquin is extremely controversial because it is a carcinogenic preservative, meaning that it causes cancer. And we go down further, corn syrup, not appropriate for cats. And everything after salt is likely less than 1%. However, some things to be wary of, yellow five, red 40, blue two, these colors are also carcinogenic. And BHA, which is another chemical preservative that's carcinogenic. So we have all of these inappropriate ingredients, including chemical preservatives that are known to cause cancer. So all of these things, this is why this is the worst dry food. Now, if you've discovered that your cat's eating one of these worst foods, or maybe your cat's food contains these really bad ingredients, check out this video right over Mia. It is my complete transition guide specifically formulated for picky cats so that you can get your cat eating better quality food. Thanks for watching.